Hey guys, this is Garrett Tice with Applied Software. I apologize in advance. I know a few of my uh, comrades typically have a screencast going uh, so you can see their face as they walk through these demonstrations and they normally have some nice little intro music. I apologize that I don't have that but hopefully I, I'm giving some good information away today and uh, you, you like what you see. I'm in Camduck 2017 and I'm going to talk about customizing takeoff information. Now what I'm going to talk about can be done in any fabrication product. In CAD MEP, if you type folders at the command line, you'll be in the same interface that I'm in now with all of the same functionalities. In SDMEP, select the folders or the item folders tab and you'll be able to do the same thing. So what I want to talk about is customizing takeoff information, how to restrict informa uh, information inside of the item tab, uh, as well as custom data because that also falls under the item tab. I'm in a blank database for this example. First thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just create two patterns here. I'll, uh, I'll create a valve, and I'm not going to modify the valve. It's the base pattern. We'll keep it all crazy like that. I'll close this down, and we'll uh, we'll call it valve here. I'll uh, I'll make a make a can here, and we'll label this a diffuser. Now I'm going to be small scale for this example, just so that we, we get to the point. You'll, you'll see what I'm talking about, and you may see benefit to it uh, in your data set and your items. Now if you have an extensive library and you, you're doing both duct and pipe, this may be more particular to you, especially if it's all under one database and you're not splitting up pipe versus duct. I'm going to go ahead and go into the database, take off custom data. Again, it's a blank database. I have no entries, but I'm going to go ahead and create two uh, item custom data fields. The first entry uh, is ID 1. This is beneficial for your reporting. So you can display data for an index number, and this is index number 1. So if you're wanting to filter in reports, it's, it's very good. You can use custom data. I'm going to call this CFM. Add, that's something that I'm going to focus on throughout this demonstration. It ties directly to the pieces uh, and, and the item information. The value here, or the, the type here, is going to be a value. I'll add another one, index 2, and we'll just abbreviate manufacturer. And this can be text. I'm going to leave it to add always. Also in this example, I want to talk about some of the things that I've seen. Uh, I'm not going to say errors. Uh, I'm, we'll call them headaches. You know, why isn't this appearing on the piece? I'm calling it out. So the, the common instances that I've seen with data not appearing on items. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this valve like I'm going to add it to the job. And I'm going to move to the item tab. That's going to be the primary focus of this demonstration. If you go to take off, customize, and in CAD MEP, you should have a uh, customized takeoff information at the bottom left. Under the item information tab, I've got item number. I don't see anything about custom data. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add custom data field. I'm going to put it at the top so that way we focus up here and we'll see the values, we'll see the values coming in. The edit object properties icon will allow you to call out a index. So for example, when I select this bubble, you'll see number one, it'll show CFM, and number two will show manufacturer. Uh, I want to show all available data and select OK. Now when I hit OK here, I should see manufacturer and CFM appear above item number, and I do. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel here. If I double click on the diffuser, same thing. I've got CFM and manufacturer. You can further customize the information per piece. If I right click on the diffuser and say take off information, I can go to a custom data tab. It's a tab devoted just to custom data. The uses data option on the right hand side. If I select either one of these, notice that I can't remove the object. It's not even an option and they have an asterisk beside them. That's because they're labeled always inside of the database and so they're always going to be called out on the pieces. I'll go ahead and go back to take off database take off custom data and I'll set these both to user here and I'll go back to take off information custom data and nothing's there. So if I double click on the piece I don't have any custom data. Now that my custom data is set to user 
I can say, all right, you get CFM, and the valve will get manufacturer. If I double click on the valve, I have manufacturer. And if I double click on the diffuser, I have CFM. So that's custom data and restricting that takeoff information on pieces. I want to talk a little bit further about another common mistake. I'm not going to say mistake, mishap that I see when when this is when people do this. Um, so if I right click on the diffuser and I say take off information, I want to customize this, right? I don't I don't want anything. I'll say, you know, I might could have a quantity and the number so I can give it a, a diffuser tag. I don't need to know the section, anything like that. I'm going to keep item number and quantity. And one would think that I would keep my CFM custom data. I'll double click. I only have those two options. If I go back to takeoff information, the reason I don't have CFM anymore is because I don't have a custom data field with all available data being displayed. Now that I've added it under the item tab, I will have CFM. So that's one thing that I've seen, and that's one thing to be aware of if you do go this route. Again, if it's if you're sharing a database with pipe guys, duct guys, you know, it, uh, maybe someone's using electrical, um, it can be frustrating if there's multiple fields that are useless to you when you're doing your input. So give me some feedback below, and uh, I hope it was beneficial. Thanks.